Good morning. This video today is to show you how to make a student account on Edmodo. Our school is using Edmodo uh, in the chemistry department and in the science department as well uh, to send work and to set mini quizzes for you to all have a go at. So it's very important that you get yourself logged on. So here we go. Let's show you how to do this. You first off need to start by obviously logging on to your computer. This does not have to be done through the school's network. This does not have to be done via remote. You can do this from any laptop. Okay, so get yourself an internet browser. Different internet browsers work absolutely fine. Uh, the one I've found that works best with Edmodo is Chrome. Obviously, other browsers are available. So, E-D-M-O-D-O, -O. Edmodo is the count, the, the, sorry, the software that we are using. If you click on it, it'll take you to a home page. So when you first get to the home page, you look, you get something a little bit like this. Uh, once you've made your account, you only have to log on in each time. You do not have to remake an account each time. But this first time you will have to click get started as a student. So what you do is you type in your name. Um, please make sure your name is your proper name uh, with capital letters at the start there. If you do this correctly, you'll come up on our register in uh, register order and that's really helpful for us teachers when it comes to tracking. If you put in something weird and wonderful here uh, or you don't use capital letters, it messes up the order of the register online there uh, and it just makes our lives a little bit harder, which we don't really appreciate. So please do your best to type in your name correctly. We do not mind if you choose to use um, a shortened version of your name. For example, my first name is actually uh, Catherine, but nobody ever calls me Catherine uh, unless I'm in serious trouble. So if you have a longer version of your name, you're welcome to put that or a shorter version of your name. There we go. The class code. The class codes will be emailed to each uh, class set individually. So 10A2 will get a special class code. So will 10A3, year 7, S, J, W, X, Y, Z, whatever your codes are. Uh, you will get your own code emailed to you. Uh, they are a mixture of letters and numbers. Um, you do not have to use capitals. You do not have any spaces. So this is just an example code that I'm putting in. So du 8 J X N. You do not need to fill in that code. This is just an example one. Your username, it is completely up to you what your username is. Uh, however, try to make it something memorable. For example, your name and your date of birth. Uh, please do bear in mind, we can see what your username is. So if you are putting in something a bit rude, we will see that. When I set some of these up with my classes while we were still in school, um, some of the students chose to use their Instagram handles. Uh, that is completely fine if you like. Um, some use like Xbox usernames. I, I really don't mind, okay? Just make it something that you are actually going to remember. If you type it in and it's already taken, um, then obviously you're just going to have to put a number after Favourite number is seven, um, that's taken, so let's switch it around the other way. There we go, that works completely fine. It is up to you um, how you want to, what you want your username to be. Uh, some classes uh, that I had whilst we were still in school set theirs to their uh, Instagram handle. Some of them put them as their um, PlayStation Network sign-in. Like, I genuinely do not mind. Just make sure it is something memorable that you are going to actually remember it. If you're not going to remember it, that makes life a little bit tricky. However, one way that you can reduce the trickiness of that is by typing in your email there. This is optional. You do not have to link it to your email account. However, it is a great idea for account recovery. So if you forget your login details, whether it be your username or your password, if it's got your email, it's easy to fix that sort of issue. The 
with your email I do not mind if it is your personal email or your school email probably set it as the one that you're more likely to actually use more likely to actually check your password once again it is completely up to you what your password is however uh, setting it as password is not a particularly strong password okay it will say uh, that your password is weak you can add a few numbers to it maybe some symbols there we go uh, and that will make it better however make sure it is one that you will remember again please do record what your password is the teachers are able to reset it however that might take some time for the teacher to actually get the message and then reset it so try your best just to remember what it is okay sign up there you go my use my uh, browser has given me the option to save it sure why not account safety now this stage links your account to your parents account um, your parents do not actually have to make an account, but if they want to hear about how you're getting on, this sends little uh, updates to them of how you're getting on with the science content. So you can do this either by typing in their mobile number. Please make sure that they are OK with you doing this. Um, Edmodo does not use any data like this for their own marketing purposes. Um, if you want to check that out further, parents, uh, there is a whole section on Edmodo about that. Or you can type in your email address for the parents there as well. For now, I'm just going to click skip. OK, and this is your home page when you get on Edmodo. There's a few different bits and bobs there. You can make yourself a little planner. Um, you can change your profile picture. You can put it up as something funky. got to verify your password uh, you can choose things to do with how I like to learn oh I like listening to things there we go uh, career goal what do I want to do I want to help people there we go yeah well I am a teacher so there we go teacher within this as well we've got your activity uh, any posts that you've made any tests that you do uh, and in theory, you should be able to see what my schedule is there. That is my teacher account there with me, my cat and my daughter. If you go back to your home page here, your classes are shown on the left hand side. So um, GCSE chemistry are using this um, and so are key stage three science. More departments may use this eventually. If a few different departments in the school use this, um, then you will have a few different classes come up here. All you have to do each time is just get the class code. You just click join group, type in the code that your teacher gives you and that will add you to a second class as well. If you just want to know what's happening on your chemistry, if you just click the chemistry class, and I can send you little notifications here, um, PowerPoints, word searches, uh, quizzes, all sorts of different bits and bobs. If you have any assignments due, it will come up here on the right hand side, but also up here is your notification section. This works very similar to Facebook. If you have a notification, it pops up and you check out what it is. There's so much more to it than that, but for now, I think that is a great place to leave it. So that is Edmodo, the very basics of how it works and how you actually log yourself on and create an account. You can get hold of your teachers through Edmodo. You can send messages to them. Um, but please bear in mind that we are not going to be able to answer messages 24 hours a day. Uh, just message us in normal sort of school times and we'll probably pick up those messages quite quickly. Um, however, due to childcare arrangements, different teachers might have different times that they are available. Be gone, minions of science. That is all for today. Bye-bye.